get ready with me while I tell you which products are worth your money and which products are not worth your money for skincare and makeup. So I'm just gonna do my whole routine with you guys. Um, and if you hear rain or thunder, it's just cause there's a big storm right now. So yeah. So first, I'm going to start with the bubble spray. I think it's a very nice spray, but it's probably not worth the money because water is probably fine, but it does spray very nicely. And it's very relaxing and hydrating. Next is the Ordinary Hydrolonic Acid 2% B5, right? Yeah, B5. So this is very nice and also hydrating and it's like only $6. So I would definitely say this is worth your money. And you can always also put a little bit of water on your face or on your hands and it won't really ruin anything. <laughs> and it's just very nice and on your skin. Very hydrating. Okay, next we're going to go with bubble again. The bubble level up balancing moisturizer. It's a very nice moisturizer. I have dry skin, so I, I am using the wrong moisturizer, but it's fine for oily and dry skin, but the other one is better for dry skin. I just got the wrong one by accident. So, but I'm still gonna use it because it's still very hydrating and nice. Okay. So next I will use this Mario Baduscu spray, which some people rave about. And some people don't. But I love it. It is very nice and cooling. And I think it's worth your money. And they're pretty cheap. Okay. Next is this dupe. Well, it's not really a dupe. Because it's like literally like. Not the low recipe brand. But like. Yeah. What's it called? Um like a bake but it is very nice and yeah I think it's worth your money and it's very cheap and very hydrating and just overall a pretty good serum Next, I will go in with my Power Grip Elf Primer, which I think is a 10 out of 10. I, it is a very sticky primer, but it is pretty hard to get around your face. So you need to put at least four drops on your face to get it all over your face. Next, you have to let that dry for a little bit before you can use it. Well, before you can add your makeup. And while we wait, I'm going to curl my eyelashes with this Claire's Eyelash Curler, which I have used for a year or two, like two years, and I, I've loved it. I'm going to put my mascara on. And this is the Lash Paradise L'Oreal Paris. And I love it. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. And I love it. If it will ever open. Okay. I use this every single day. 
and uh, overall, I think it is very good. Okay, next we're going to go in with the e.l.f. concealer, camo concealer, which recently has been pretty cakey. I don't know why, but it has been. I don't know why. It did not start off like that, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it's not been functioning pretty well. Like, it's been going pretty bad. But it is a, it is hydrating because it does say it's hydrating and it's pretty cheap. It's like 10 or $9 and actually maybe it's not looking cakey. It's actually looking pretty good, but maybe it's just because I've been using a wet beauty blender and right now I'm not. So yeah, 7 out of 10 though, because yeah, but it is pretty good, <laughs> and I think you should definitely try it. It is, it's not full coverage, I would say, so yeah, but it blends pretty easy, and is a pretty nice concealer if you're not looking for a full coverage concealer. Okay. <laughs> Next is this Benefit contour that everyone loves. <laughs> and I'm gonna say I love this too because it's like I can just put it on my brush and I don't even need to pat off my brush. It's so easy to use and isn't hard like it's overall just very easy to use and <coughs> I love it. Next is the She Glam glam by lush it has a very nice applicator and overall i think it is a pretty good blush and this is like a summer shade so i probably don't even need blush right now so whatever but i'm still gonna use it and <coughs> It's a very nice blush. Um, I would say it's a lot like the Rare Beauty blushes. Just not as pigmented, but... Look at that. And... It's not... It's, it's not that sheer. It's like in the middle of sheer. Like, it's not really sheer, but it's a little bit sheer. So, I think overall it's pretty good and it's worth your money because it's also very she cheap. I got this on Black Friday, so or Cyber Monday, but it is still pretty cheap even if it's not on sale. So, yeah. And now I'm going to use my e.l.f. concealer again because I just like using it after my blush. <laughs> just to make it more of a full coverage, it just gives it more of a full coverage effect. And yeah. This beauty blender I'm using is one from Target and 
it is a actual pretty nice beauty blender so I am um, yeah okay <laughs> next is lips so if you have not heard me raving about this this is the NYX Fat Lip Oil, and I love it. it. It feels like a gloss and looks like one. But I swear to you, it hydrates your lips so good. And then I'm going to use the spray again. What do I do to take it to home? You just get rid of it. Yeah, and it puts it at your house. <laughs> Sorry guys, my little sister was asking me a question. Now I am going to use some powder blush from Five Below. This is the palette. It is called Flawless Eye and Face Palette. And I'm gonna use some of the powder blush just to give me a little bit more of a look little shine and that's it bye